Hello guys, my name is John. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I post uh, my last video. I apologize, but I, I've been very, very, very busy. But, well, it's a good thing. The blessing of having work and being busy. But now I have more time to get back to the videos and I have awesome things to show you guys. Uh, I know I've been talking a lot about CV radio and GMRS radio, and I'm going to keep doing that. I'm not a radio expert, but I'm a very experienced user. And when I show you something is because I already know it works and I have proven. Okay. But apart from that, I have some other stuff that is very interesting i find it very practical and it's going to be nice to show you guys so please try to subscribe to the channel i need to grow the channel a little more to get to a thousand subscribers to make this all this to make sense for me to to take the time and spend the money and things i i buy everything i show you guys so Please try uh, to, subscri to subscribe. And now, today I'm gonna show you a real awesome little antenna I found. I purchased it about two weeks ago. Okay, it's the HYS CV mobile antenna for handheld or walkie talkies, okay? Which is awesome. And it comes with the BNC connector that every walkie-talkie, CV walkie-talkie comes with. So you just hook up this to the walkie-talkie and you have a mobile antenna to increase the reception. Remember guys that CV is, is, is not very powerful. Uh, uh, by law is limited to four watts, okay? The handhelds and the mobile uh, radios, both are four watts. So it's not very powerful. It's not as power, powerful as GMRS uh, can be, but it's still very useful. Okay, nowadays on the road, especially, I use this, I'm a truck, remember I'm a truck driver and I use this daily. I scan both GMRS and CV daily on my work truck on the road all over the country and let me tell you cv is still the way to go to get road info road input uh, information about road closures because of an accident uh, if you are driving through uh, very bad weather you are gonna get info on when to be careful, when to stop, and things like that. It, it, it is awesome. But on the, on the interstate, you will not get more than between one and three miles because of, of the landscape of, of the road. If you are on the open road, you are going to get uh, more than that. But it's not much, but it is enough, okay? Having said that, this for me is awesome if you need, if you want to have a very easy, very portable setup for your car, for your road trips, okay? Because you are just going to use a handheld and this little antenna that is only 13.3 inches, guys. I mean, look at the size of this antenna. It's very small just in comparison the the one i use on my personal truck is a k40 model k30 is 33 inches tall it's very tall so this will work for a very portable uh, setup or even if you want just to one use this one because the low clearance is gonna be more convenient on a daily basis driving I don't know around town if you go 
to uh, drive through in the bank or whatever. So it is a very convenient size and we are gonna test if it works and how it works, okay? So basically you just go uh, take a, a CV walkie-talkie. I have all over here the, the first one I bought about eight years ago is very simple this is a very basic uh, walkie-talkie but it's an awesome walkie-talkie is a real good walkie-talkie okay and what you do this is the rubber docky antenna that comes with the radio you just take it out and you book the mobile antenna and you are set and you put this on, on the roof I'm going to show you how I channel the cables on my truck and you can figure out how to use it. It's a very, very, very easy setup, guys. And, and another thing, HYS, this is the third antenna I have from them because especially on my work truck, I always carry a backup CV walkie-talkie because twice in really bad weather especially with the heavy heavy snow I had I I had to stop on the interstate because traffic was stopped so I got out of the truck to find out what was the situation in those cases I always always take with me a CV walkie-talkie to keep listening to the info I can get to warn other drivers or whatever and believe me HYS are they make awesome awesome antennas this is the one this is my Midland 75A22 you can use this one as a mobile or as a walkie-talkie as a walkie-talkie comes with another rubber uh, 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 and little antenna so i switched to this one which is longer as, as you can see way longer and it works awesome and improve the range of the walkie-talkie a lot so i'm gonna leave the links of everything on the description if you want to to look at more info you know on 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 all these things okay and the second one i bought is also an hys antenna for walkie talkies but guys look at the size of this thing it's 17 inches look at, at the size there's a video on this antenna if you want to look for it. This is especially, you know, to have this on the car, I mean, you can run it like at any size you want, but I found more convenient this one because it's more flexible inside the car or the truck. But if I'm getting out, I just quick shift to this one because with this thing extended, is gonna give me a lot 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 more range and it works awesome really really works these guys they do know how to make good antennas guys and the antenna we are talking today the the mobile antenna is very sturdy is very small 13 inches comes with a with a two and a half inches diameter a uh, magnet that feels sturdy we'll see how it holds on the on the roof and comes with this rubber sleeve for protection for your roof it's a very very well made antenna and comes i have the over here the data with a 13 feet low loss rg58u cable Okay, I, I'm not an expert in cables, but they are experts. So if they are giving us this cable, it is because 
it is working with their design, okay? And 1350 is more than enough to, to set up this on any pickup truck or car, personal car, okay guys? And it's rated for a maximum of 50 watts. I told you, all CVs are four watts legally. But it's very, very, very common that the, uh, the people send their CVs to, to CV shops to bump up the, the, the watts. I mean, if you are, if you want to be listened, be, to, uh, to be hear, heard, excuse me, I, you can do it, but for receiving, guys, the watts doesn't matter at all. It's all about antenna, 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 and obviously the landscape, because this is based on line of sight, mostly, so watts doesn't matter for receiving info, and I use my radios mostly for receiving info. So to me, this is an awesome option, okay? And I think that's it. I'm gonna show you how I set up this in my truck and and we are gonna drive a little to see if we can pick, pick up uh, some signal or whatever. And another thing, I'm gonna start making range tests on this antenna and all the antennas I own on handhelds and my GMRS uh, mobile because uh, I bought a little device to do that but I'm gonna prepare a video uh, next week about it and it's going to be awesome because I'm gonna be doing short videos uh, testing the range and the and and how the, the different antennas work, okay? It's going to be very interesting. Try to subscribe, guys. Uh, you, are, you are gonna enjoy uh, very much those, those uh, videos. So let's go and, and, and see how it works uh, on, on my truck, okay? Okay. Do this. Look how small this antenna is. So I'm gonna put it on, on the same spot that I use, the, K, the K30. So normally when, when I go to the car wash or something or, or somewhere with low clearance, I just do this. And it's that easy, guys, to install it. Uh, what I do is I run the the, the the K30 cable under the seats, but the GMRS, I just keep it on top because I use also my, my GMS radio as a base sometimes at, at my apartment. So I take it out very often. And I'm gonna leave this one on top also, since it's a professional install. I will just put the cable to the front and I'm gonna show you how I connect everything. Okay guys, we are getting on the interstate. We are about 10 miles from the truck stop. We are gonna also test the wind resistance of the little magnet because it's a small antenna. But I don't think we are gonna have any problem with that.
Radio check, radio check, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, driver. I'm testing a very small antenna over here, but I appreciate the comeback. Be safe, man. Yeah, that thing got a bad squeal in it. Squeal? Hell, I don't know what the hell that is. Let me try it without the external uh, microphone. You just need to stop all that, huh? Is it better now? Yeah, it's a lot better. Okay, uh, is the external microphone, but this is a, just a little walkie-talkie with an external antenna, man. It's working awesome. I, I can hear you pretty good. I'm sitting over on the fuel island. It sounds good here. Okay, I appreciate the, the feedback, man. Be safe. Okay, guys, uh, I'm wrapping up this video. I'm over here at the Love's truck stop on I-85 in Georgia, exit two, the border with Alabama. It's a very nice truck stop over there. You can see the trucks. I'm on the car section. Okay, as you can see, as you saw, the antenna works. How far? I don't know yet. I'm gonna do some range testing with the device I got, as I told you. So please subscribe, guys, and keep coming back. And you will see a lot of range tests on all my radios. The antenna works. As you saw, the little external microphone did in uh, no surprise there because it's a very cheap microphone microphone so I'm gonna try to get a better one and do some testing on that I hope you enjoy the video guys and I hope this will help you because it's a very very practical little antenna and I was driving on the interstate coming here at 70 miles the speed limit and the antenna didn't move on the roof. So it is very, very safe. And it's very convenient, the low clearance. I don't know how much is going to affect the range, but we'll see with time. I'm gonna keep testing over time, okay? Thank you for watching, guys, and please subscribe and keep coming back. See you.